Hey guys, this is a video tutorial on how to color your Simulation Baby. Now the Simulation Baby is an open source avatar that was created by the Mighty Ginkgo Tutorials. And I actually really do like watching her tutorials a lot. I think she's a very creative person and has so much to give to everybody. And I decided to want to color and mod her avatar just because I really like her and I think she's a really swell person. So anyhow, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on what this baby has. And uh, again, this is not this uh, this is not like uh, one of those advanced babies. It just comes with a bunch of simple stuff, but it's really really good, and you could do a lot with it. It has a lot of potential. So right now, I'm actually wearing one of my skins that I created. This is a custom texture that I created. Now I won't be giving out the PSD files for this. Uh, skin, but I will, will teach you how to recolor your baby and go about it the right way so you don't screw up or have any errors because there is a slight bit of a problem with the original texture that comes with it and you'll notice some like smudging and stuff like that and you'll have to go in and correct it but overall it's a really easy baby to mod and um, as you can tell already I've modded already it did hair and some of you are wondering like why are you wearing a baby avatar because I just collect avatars I just like having a lot of different avatars. I like coloring. I, I like putting things together and seeing what comes out of it. You know, that's my all-time favorite thing to do is just slapping, you know, just different stuff that you find around the grid. And it's, you know, that's the point of Second Life is trying out different things and seeing what you can find to make with it. You know, you could probably come out with a really nice character, you know, if you just throw together some pieces. And, you know, that's the whole fun about it. So anyway, I'm wearing one of my skins. And as you can see, I'm, I have the HUD on for the baby. And these skins aren't as, as nice. As you can see, they're really kind of not that attractive. They don't have eyebrows on it because this is just the basic textures that she gives you in the files. Um, you can make, uh, like, different color stuff right here. Like, this blue one's kind of scary. Like, you know, like an elf. You can be an elf or a little troll or something. The pink one, like, you know, all that stuff. So this is what comes with the baby simulation um, avatar. It's just really basic and an alpha. But you could do a lot with it. Like, as you can see, somebody already made overalls on the marketplace. And I actually textured them really quickly. And they come with the uh, fat pack that I created for the baby skins. Uh, there will be available now the reason why I decided not to like sell these for a large amount of money is just because uh, You know, I feel like I like giving stuff to people. I like helping I like Creating things and being able to share that with people because you know, I'm not really About the money when it comes to creating I just I go with the flow. I like uh, doing stuff you know, just to help people. I've always loved teaching. Teaching is one of my favorite things to do, you know. So, I, as you can see, the needle is the applier that I made for the baby. If you click it, you get a different color skin, and you can see it's actually a little bit more detailed. Um, I'm actually having a little bit of lag, so it's not actually loading the skin correctly. Um, uh, so, yeah, you can see it looks completely different. I actually put eyebrows and stuff on it. Um, and we'll open the template. We'll open my templates and you can see what, what exactly I did to it um, to be able to create your skins. So anyhow, let's open Photoshop. Okay, so I already went on ahead and added some eyebrows to this. And I pretty much got the eyebrows from uh, DeviantArt. Um, you can get brushes to be able to make eyebrows and eyelashes and stuff like that. So... You don't have to worry about um, going through all the trouble and stuff. And these are free and open source. So we're going to go back to a different brush. I'm on, using my MacBook right now and I don't have a, I don't have a mouse available. So I'm kind of like stuck. All right. So we're going to set up these, uh, we're going to set up these layers. So first you want to get the bake map texture, copy, set to overlay. Now we're going to get this and set to multiply and open this. You see now you're getting a lot of different um, texture, more depth. Um, let's drop down the this right here and you can see we have the bottom layer as 
one of the skin textures that is available to us. And you can see already that you're getting a lot of more detail on it You've, where you have the knees and stuff like that. So we're going to use that as a guide. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Um, get a tool and go over the knees. You see how you can fairly make out the knees and stuff like that? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly go over the knees. Stroke path. Just a little bit of shadow, you know, I just want a little bit of shadow. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you the um, PSD file that I created because that that took a long time to do, and I actually gave out those uh, textures because I hope that I can inspire other people to uh, be able to modify and stuff like that. So we're gonna smudge this a little bit and don't worry about uh, messing up because this is a part of you learning and, and experiencing stuff like that. Um, as we're going to drop the drop shadow on this overlay. You see, it looks dark right now, but don't worry about it because then you see, there you go. And that's a knee. That's a knee joint. That's a knee shadow. Um, let me see. I'm having a little bit of trouble today because for some reason my, my, uh, my Mac is really slow today and I don't know why it's doing that so we're gonna add a little bit of shine smudge it set to overlay drop the, the shine a little bit okay so you can see we added a little bit of a knee death right there that's your knee joint. You can see the shine and shadow and stuff on it. Let's make a group. A group of stuff. And we'll call that knee. And then save that group. And you can see we already have a nice knee joint. And then what we're going to do is copy, duplicate that group. And flip it. And move it over here slightly. There we go. Now you have two perfect kneecaps. And you can go on and on and on. And right here you can see you can do a little bit. Uh, you can go over the nipple. It'll tell you where the spine is at, the butt. These are the butt cheeks. And we can go on, uh, keep doing that. So let's make a new layer uh, in a new group. And we'll call that butt. All right, so we put butt there. And we're going to essentially do the same thing and uh, go over these little lines right here. And that's the butt cheek. Okay. We're just going to go slightly over right here. And then we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Goslin Blur, and just raise it slightly. And then set it to Overlay. Drop the shadow. And you see how it's enhancing it? It actually made it more more um, like you can actually see the lines and stuff and you can just mess around with it wear it on the avatar and stuff like that and you'll you'll pretty much get the idea because all we're going over is just uh, we're going over the body lines right here you know the chest area the muscle area this is the elbow you know you're, you're pretty much just going over just stuff and enhancing it so I'm gonna make some shiny booty cheeks <laughs> Some shiny booty cheeks, and that's all we're going to do is just set it to saw overlay. Drop the shadow. Actually, put that layer below it because it's kind of like a little too shiny. There you go. See, look. Really nice, really nice, and very, very easy. And all you have to do is remember to save all your layers and, uh, you know, go over the whole body a piece at a time. You'll realize how many layers you actually gain. 
Like I said, I probably have over 200 layers on my uh, actual template um, and you can just keep going and going. So next we're going to do is the tummy. Um, really simple, like see tummy. And uh, really simply go over the tummy. Let me see, what is this? Is this the eyebrows? Did I have the eyebrows? No, that is not the eyebrows. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to do a quick thing with the tummy and and I'm just going to show you how easy it is. It's not it's not hard to do at all. So we're just going to go over it slightly. Actually, that's a little too big. That's a little too big. So we're just going to go over the tummy. Be careful with some of the, you see this area right here. I'm going to make a new layer so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, this area actually will use yellow. This right here is the end seam. Be careful when you're going over that because you'll actually get a really nasty seam in the corner. So be careful with that. So all we're gonna do is just go over this part and slightly smudge it, you know, slightly smudge it. Just slightly smudge it inwards. And here you'll see there's some armpits and stuff like that. So you want to just kind of slightly go over it. And I'm going to go to filter, Goslin blur again. And we're going to set that to overlay. And drop it slightly. As you can see, you try to get close to the skin color. You see how that kind of made it round belly a little bit. So you just kind of want to go over it. I'm just going to clean it up a bit so it doesn't look so bad. But pretty much essentially what you want to do is just kind of clean it up so it doesn't get any seams or anything on it. And uh, we're going to get some white. And just go over it here on the belly, the belly area. Some right here on the top, on the spine on the back, on the arm, and you, you'll get the idea. Pretty much you're just going over the skin and making shadows and shine for it so it looks more realistic and stuff. So we're gonna go here in the back of the leg, right here on the, the shin, what was that, the knee? No, that's not the knee, that's the, the calf, I'm sorry, the calf. Uh, this is below the knee, you want to shine on the knee, shine here shine here and then you essentially get the idea of what I'm doing you know what I mean you just pretty much go over it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to overlay and I'm gonna drop it see how nice that's looking already man that's you know and this that's just the start of it and it just and you get you get really good at it over time. So we got the tummy already, and that's already gaining up layers. You know that's a lot of layers already. You know you have everything now. Let's now let's do the face. Now you got to be careful when doing the lips. Um, there's a slight bit of an error on the mesh. I think it kind of breaks out in the seam a bit. Um, so now we're gonna do the face and make a new layer call this face make sure you always make sure you always oh why did I put Facebook I'm sorry <laughs> um, make sure you always use uh, groups when making your layers because um, there's a slight chance that you'll get confused where you put something at and you want to organize your groups as much as possible so you have that available um, so we're gonna go in and put shine on the face shine here and a little shine here and you get the idea you just pretty much going over it's like putting on your makeup it's like really putting on your makeup that's all it is you see we already got a bunch of shine on the face filter goslin blur and then we're just gonna set that to overlay drop the shadow you see how it made the cheeks more puffy you actually get a nice, nice bit of detail on that. And so we're going to go back and get a black. 
and just go right here near the nose. It's like putting on your makeup. That's all it is. Right here on the nose. Just to get that death in the face. You know what I mean? Right here in the eyes. A little bit of death. And then we're just going to clean it up a little bit because we want it, We don't want it to uh, look weird. But we just want the nose line to make it look uh, nicer. Now, I have a lot of uh, experience with skins and stuff because I used to do a lot of skins back in the days. Like way, way back in the days. Okay, so then we're going to go back and get some black right here and put some right here on the side right here on the side right here on the bottom and just be careful with your seams just be really careful with your seams all right so now we're gonna drop it to overlay and just bring it down ah you can see all the now it really really comes out a lot it really really come it does really show you can see the lights and mess around with the colors you know you get a bunch of different options and uh we're gonna do behind the knees um right in this area i'll show you um i forgot what i don't think they're called the knees they're behind yeah they're behind the knees but i always get them i always forget the name the actual name for them Okay, we're just going to call these knees two. I don't remember actually what you call those. I uh, I, I always forget. So we're going to go in and right here and we're going to make this smaller. And just put a line right here. Put a line right here. You know what I mean? That's behind your leg. That's the thing behind your knees. That little area, but I don't remember what you call it. So now we just added that. See how that that's coming out? That's coming out so nice. And you know, be careful with the lips, like I said, because there's a slight bit of a thing going on with the mesh, um, and it will kind of smear a bit. I don't know if if they plan on fixing that, but you know, it's an open source avatar, so you can't really complain. But pretty much, this is what we got so far, and you know, and there you could do a lot of stuff on here. You know, just let's let's add the belly button. You can do a belly button really easily. You know, they're so simple to make; it's ridiculous. Okay, belly button. Okay, you know, it's really simple to make a belly button. You can use uh. I forgot what this is called. Um, the path tool. A path tool is actually a really good, really good tool. Now, let me see. Now we're gonna break this down a little bit. Here we go. See, I'm just gonna do a simple belly button, just a little round shell thing, and that's it. You know, it's so simple. Um, The stroke path tool is your best friend. I, I do highly recommend using it a lot. And that's our belly button. You see how simple that was? That's our belly button right there. It's so easy. And we're just going to shrink it down. That's all we're going to do is shrink it down. Put it right there. Let's zoom out. And you'll see it looks so nice. It's really, really that simple to make textures for skins. And I'm going to set that to overlay and drop the shadow on it so you can see it. And that's our belly button. Really easy, right? So the path tool is your is your best friend when it comes to making like little weird circles like that. But it's so easy to, to enhance this. It's You'll get the idea once you start really getting into it. And I think... Yeah, I already went on ahead and, and made uh, eyebrows for it, but the once you get good at making skins and modifying stuff, it really becomes simple. You see how easy we made the knees, the butt, the belly button, shadows, you know, makeup, eyebrows. It, it gets so simple after a while you get the hang of it. So don't ever give up on creating or, or you know, learning how to modify because, it you know, you have to just keep going with it and you learn with your mistakes. So always believe in yourself no matter what. 
Um, I hope this helped, and if it didn't, then I'll probably remake this video eventually. But um, again, this is an open source avatar, and you can do so much with it. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and take care.